Today is my first review for Nukes Sauce, which is based in Portland, Oregon. And this is their hot pepper sauce. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Okay, I'm back again with another review. Now, this is my first review for this uh, company based in Portland, Oregon. This was sent to me from uh, the owner and the maker, Mr. Jake Nukem. This is Nukes Sauce, and this is his hot pepper sauce. I believe this is the hottest one that he offers. Let me go ahead and read what it says here on the website. It says, we took the original Nukes recipe and added more Carolina Reaper pepper for an added punch of heat. This is currently our hottest sauce on the roster. That being said, it is a heat that is manageable. Thank goodness for that. This will not be the type of heat you find in most Reaper dedicated hot sauces, but it is hot. And you know, I, I like um, hot sauce companies and hot sauce makers that can use super hot peppers that can bring the flavor and the, and the super hot heat of that pepper that they're using, whether it's a scorpion or a reaper or a ghost pepper or some of the others, uh, but they can keep the heat down to where it's manageable. So it doesn't always have to, just because it has Carolina reaper peppers in it, doesn't mean it's, it has to melt your face off. So I appreciate that. Uh, it says, we wanted to keep our flavor profile of our sauce and not overwhelm with heat. All natural, vegan, gluten-free hot sauce. It is vegan and all natural. We blend banana, tomatoes, garlic, onion, and carrots with a mountain of habanero and serrano peppers, among other ingredients, to create a unique spicy and sweet sauce that is ready to be poured upon your favorite dishes. We are really proud of how unique our recipe is, and we think you'll love it. All right. Made in Portland, Oregon. Thanks for buying nukes. Nice looking labels on here. Check out that label there on the front. Can you see those faces? All right. Okay, let me go ahead and read uh, the ingredients on this one. Uh, this does not include the nutritional facts, so I don't know how much sodium's in it, but it says the ingredients, we start off with white vinegar, banana, red tomatoes, water, habanero peppers, carrots, white onion, agave nectar, lime juice, serrano peppers, Carolina reaper pepper, garlic, and sea salt. So no preservatives, no xanthan gum, no thickeners, just all fresh natural ingredients. So I really love that. So by the sound of the ingredients, it looked like um, Nuke is using bananas and agave nectar to give some sweetness to a, a pretty basic uh, and a very a favorite flavor profile of mine, which is tomatoes and onions and and garlic and peppers of course so i think that's uh pretty cool but look at the uh consistency on this one i think i can see how that the bananas are kind of lightening things up and giving it this color like that it has kind of a um not so much gritty but kind of a an applesauce type uh, consistency to it but much not as thick as that of course but I hope you can see what I'm saying, but see how that coats the bottle like that? All right, let's go ahead and check out the aroma on Nuke's hot pepper sauce. Now, the first thing I get is bananas. I actually smell the bananas, and then when you kind of come back to it and take your time with it, you smell some of the other ingredients. You smell the sweetness. You smell the peppers a little bit. You smell those um, onions and uh, garlic that's coming through. So it's got a really nice not a real strong aroma to it but i'm definitely picking up the banana and i love bananas so i think that's pretty cool all right let's go ahead and show you what it looks like and do a spoonful of nukes hot pepper sauce all right here we go mm. oh wow now it's got a little punch, especially if you do a whole spoonful like that, but very, very manageable. But I get the banana flavor. You get the aroma, but you also get the flavor of the bananas. Um, just in a mild way, uh, you get a little sweetness, extra sweetness, you know, coming from the agave uh, nectar, but it's not overly sweet at all. But it's got a really nice, delicious flavor profile coming from the tomatoes and the carrots, the onions and the garlic. But wow, this is a, the blend of this pepper 
um, peppers that are in here, the Reapers, the um, Serrano peppers, habanero peppers, um, is really uh, giving this a little bit of heat. So it's got a nice burn to it all over. Um, I would probably put this one right now, I'm feeling that um, maybe a, a solid four, but maybe I think a low five out of 10 for heat on this one, just about right there in the medium. But I think it'd be um, uh, pretty hot for somebody who's not used to eating a lot of hot sauces or you're not used to eating a lot of, um, you know, things with, with uh, a lot of heat. But I love the flavor on this one. Very, very nice. Not too sweet. You got some sweetness. You got some savoriness. You got some peppers. So great flavor profile. And here's what I did with this one, guys. I put this on my breakfast of scrambled eggs, had some ham, and had some stone ground grits. Um, I just love a breakfast like that. And this is delicious on scrambled eggs. But yeah, the heat's, um, I think it's kind of calmed down a little bit. But boy, it kind of really ramps up pretty good. Probably because of those habanero peppers and the serrano peppers, uh, serrano peppers. And then the Carolina Reaper peppers really gives you that deeper oven hot type of heat. But everything's done at a level to where you can enjoy the burn. It's not going to melt your face off. Uh, so it's uh, done very, very well. So great job on this, uh, Jake. Guys, check them out at nukessauces.com. That link will be down in the description. Jake, thank you so much for seeing it. I greatly appreciate it. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.